Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to create an interactive analysis app in MATLAB using App Designer, a built-in environment for creating professional apps that anyone can use without being an expert in software development. As an example, I will create an app that allows users to design, visualize, and analyze airfoils. An airfoil is a 2D cross-sectional representation of a wing that can be used to model the performance of a particular aircraft in flight. In order to follow along with the video, you'll need to understand a few key fluid mechanics concepts. The angle of attack of an airfoil is the angle between a reference line on the airfoil and the relative motion of the flow it is moving through. Aircrafts usually move through the air at a certain angle of attack to produce lift, which is an upwards acting force on the airfoil or wing that allows it to fly. Finally, the Reynolds number is a dimensionless number used to characterize the effects of viscosity in the flow pattern of a fluid, in our case, air. There are two main components to app design, user interface, which you can build in the design view, and the app's behavior, which you can code and modify in app designer's code view. We'll start with the design view first. To start off, I'll show you how to organize your app's layout with containers. Tab groups enable you to organize your app's components into categories that the user can navigate between. To create a tab group, scroll down in the component library to the container section, then click and drag the tab group icon onto the body of your app. For my app, I want a design tab where users can manipulate airfoil characteristics and an analysis tab for visualizing plots and analyses pertaining to that airfoil. I'll also add panels, which further divide each tab into subsections. Next, I'll add individual components to my panels. I'll start by adding a section for inputs needed for the model airfoil. I'll add in some numeric edit fields where users can edit the airfoil's thickness, length, maximum camber, and maximum camber position. In the analysis tab, I'll also add a numeric edit field to manipulate the aircraft's speed, which we'll later use to calculate the Reynolds number of the airfoil. I'll also add a radio button group for selecting the altitude at which the aircraft is flying. This affects the kinematic viscosity of the air, another parameter used to calculate Reynolds number. Now I will add the components for displaying our results. First, I'll add a text area where the resulting Reynolds number will be displayed. Next, I'm going to add a set of axes in each tab. In the design tab, these axes will be for visualizing the airfoil itself. And in the analysis tab, these axes will show a plot of the lift coefficient versus angle of attack. Finally, I'll add a button in the analysis tab, which will allow the user to actuate the Reynolds number calculation I've described. Next, I'm going to show you how to program the app you've designed in the code view. When you switch to the code view, you'll see a white code area that you can type in. The gray code areas contain code written for you by app designer based on actions you've taken in the design view. These aren't editable, so you don't need to worry about them. The first thing I've done here is created a function called plot update. This function is the same as any normal MATLAB code I would write for plotting an airfoil, but for all the code pertaining to the actual plotting, I have specified the axes that I want the plot to appear on. In this case, I'll specify the set of axes in my design tab, app.ui axes. Notice how I need to do this not only for the plot command, but also for the hold and axis limit commands. I will call this function every time I want the plot in my app to update, so every time the user updates a value in the numeric edit fields. To do this, I've added a callback for each of the numeric edit fields. A callback is a function that executes when a user interacts with a component. To add a callback, right-click on the numeric edit field and select the value changed function callback. As an example, I'll demonstrate how to write a callback for the maximum camber parameter. The most important thing to keep in mind here is that the maximum camber value is also used in the plot update function, where I refer to it as the variable m. So when the user updates the maximum camber value in this edit field, the plot update function also has to recognize a change. In order to do this, I'll create a new property, which is a variable that is shared globally across all callbacks in the app. I'll call my property maximum camber and then modify the value changed function callback so that the app.maximumCamber property takes on the value that the user typed into the edit field. You can apply the same process to the other numeric edit fields in the app. Once you understand the basics of creating callbacks that respond to the user's actions in the appropriate way and creating properties that can be shared across callbacks, you can customize your app to do just about anything. 
For example, I've also created a radio button group with some if statements that determine which of the three values for kinematic viscosity should be used in the Reynolds number calculation based on the altitude selected by the user. I've incorporated another button push callback to perform the Reynolds number calculation and display that calculated value in a text area. One final type of callback that can be useful is a startup function callback. The code you type for this callback will automatically execute when the app is first opened. For my app, I've set default values for the airfoil characteristics and called the plot update function to have this default airfoil appear on the axes when the app is first open. Here's what my finished app looks like. With the skills you've learned in this video, you should be well on your way to designing even more robust and professional looking apps for interactive analysis. If you want to learn more about App Designer and its capabilities, check out App Designer's page on the MathWorks website, where you can access more in-depth information about App Designer's features and explore examples created by other MATLAB users. Thanks for watching.